In this video, I'm going to continue talking about the graph of a straight line. Specifically, I'm going to talk about making an equation from a graph. In other words, you're going to look at this graph and figure out how to make one of these out of it. So, the first thing you need to know how to do, well, there really there are two things you're going to need to know how to do. The first of them is how to find slope. So, if you recall, um, slope is the thing that describes whether it's going up or down quickly or slowly. And we need to figure out how to make a number that represents this slope. So how we do that um, is we take this idea. This is delta x, or excuse me, delta y over delta x. Um, delta is, yeah, the triangle is delta. That is a Greek letter and it means change. So basically what we're saying is the change in y over the change in x. So if you think about how much it changes this way versus how much it changes this way, um, we'll describe how much it's going up or down. So that theory kind of makes sense there. Um, this is your formula. To find the number that represents slope, you must use this formula. It's y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. Now, in order to plug in and f figure out what these are, because these each just represent numbers, that we have to figure out what they are first. So first what we have to do is find two points on, any, on the line. You can take any two points on the line. And when I say any two, I mean any two points. does not matter which ones as long as they are on the line. So in this case, I just picked two points here. I picked 1, 1, because you can see that that is touching the line, if, even if I didn't draw the line very well. And we have negative 2, comma, negative 1 right here. So I just picked those two points because they were touching the line and I could see what they were easily. Now, each of these points are going to be x's and y's. So we're going to make our first point, and it doesn't, rem it doesn't matter which one we call our first point, but whatever, I picked one. So our first point is going to be x1 and y1. So you have an x value and a y value, and this is our first set. That's why we put the little one by them. So x1 and y1 equals 1 and 1, 1 comma 1. So that's this point right here. So what I'm saying here is that this 1 is your value x1, this is your y1. Now for your second point, so I just picked a second point, negative 2 comma negative 1. That is going to be our second x and our second y. So our second x here, so negative 2 is our second x, this was our first x, this is our second x, and then our second y is negative 1. Um, so y2 is negative 1, x2 is negative 2. So what we do is we just take these numbers after we have picked the points and assigned x1, y1 equals this point, x2, y2 equals this point. So we plug it into the formula. So you can see that what I did here first was I basically took the formula and everywhere I had a letter I just put a set of parentheses. So then after I put a set of parentheses, I filled them in with numbers. So this first set of parentheses, this first one should be y1. What was our y1 value? It was right here, 1. So I put a 1 there. Okay, minus y2. What was our y2? You can see green here, green here. Negative 1, so I plugged in negative 1. Our x1 value, that came from our x value on our first point. This 1 here, so I put a 1 there. x2. So that's our x value from our second point. That was negative 2, negative 2. Now notice that it was very important that I put the negative inside the parentheses because in this case, um, if you have minus a negative, that creates a positive on both the top and the bottom in this case. So if we just do a little math here, 1 minus negative 1 is actually 1 plus 1 and 1 minus negative 2 is 1 plus 2, because the negatives cancel each other out. 
So we end up with 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 2, and we have 2 thirds. So 2 thirds is the slope of our line. Um, we could also say that m equals 2 thirds, because remember, the m right here, this number, is our slope. So we can just say m equals 2 thirds. That's a common way of writing it. I also want to point out that this is a positive number. Slope is a positive number, which means that the slope of the line is should be positive. Remember we talked about that before. And we can see that in our case, our line, it is positive because it's going up. So it matches up. We have a positive number, positive line. But ultimately, the answer um, with slope of our line is 2 thirds. Now, if you recall, what we were really trying to do was make an equation from a graph. We're supposed to take the graph and turn it into an equation. And I, remember I said there were two things that we had to do. One, we had to find the slope. Two, we have to find the y-intercept. Finding the y-intercept is very easy compared to finding the slope. Super, super easy. So in this case, you can see that I drew a different line just for a different example. Um, and remember, the y-intercept is the point where the line touches the y-axis. You can see that even in my very bad drawing without any numbers. I don't know why I forgot to draw the numbers. Um, but we'll assume that's negative 1 where it's touching. Therefore, we say the y-intercept is 0, comma, negative 1. That's all we have to do. We just had to find that negative 1. So now we have found the slope, which is 2 thirds, and we have found the y-intercept, which is negative 1. So now we're going to, um, we can make an equation from that, from those graphs. However, um, those were taken from different graphs, so I'm going to do a complete problem. Those were just the two processes we had to know how to do before um, our ultimate goal. Okay, so now let's do a complete example, um, which we just learned how to do. So, we want to take this line and turn it into an equation. So what are the two things we have to do? We have to find slope, and we have to find the y-intercept, or b. The y-intercept is b. Alright, so let's do slope. We already learned how to do that, so let's do it again. So here's our formula. I just wrote it down um, for a reminder. We have to find two points. So what two points can you make out on this line? And the line's kind of scribbly. Sorry about that. However, the two points that I can most easily make out are the ones that are touching the axis, because it's easy to see where they are when they're not floating out here in space. So um, I'm going to go for this first point. Um, this one looks good. That would be the point 0, because it doesn't go left or right on the x-axis, comma, 1, 2. So you can see I wrote that here, 0, comma, 2. That'll be my first point, that is my first x and my first y. So my first x is 0, my first y is 2. Now the other points that I find easy to see and remember, I could pick any point, however, I'm just picking these two because I think they're easy to tell what they are, even in my very bad drawing. So the second point I'm going to pick is this one right here. We can see that the x value is negative 1, negative 2, and the y value would be 0 because it doesn't go up or down, it's on the y-axis. I mean, on the x-axis. So right here is the point negative 2, comma, 0. So that'll be my second point. And so my second point, um, negative 2, comma 0, that is my second x and my second y. So x2, y2. Now remember the second step in finding slope is plug in the points. So again, anywhere um, there was a letter in the original formula, I just put as a set of parentheses, and then I plugged it in. Let's see, the first thing in the formula is y1, what's our first y value right here? 2. So I plug that in. And then minus y2, what is our y2 value? Our second y, 
was 0 here. So I plug that in there. And then x1, what's our first x value? Our x value from our first point is 0 again. So I plugged in the 0 there. And then our x value, our second x value, our x value from our second point um, is negative 2, we can see here. So I plugged in negative 2. And then I simplified that to 2 minus 0. That's easy enough. And then 0 minus negative 2, which, as you know, is 0 plus 2. So we have 0 plus 2. Um, I simplified this to 2 over 2, which is the same thing as 1. So that is the slope of our line. That is our m value. So now, um, if you recall, there are two things we have to do in order to make an equation. Remember, we need our m, our slope, and our b, our y-intercept. But we know how to find a y-intercept. We already did that, in fact. Um, remember, the y-intercept is the point where the line crosses the y-axis. So we just look 1, 2. So it crosses the y-axis at 0, comma, 2. So what is b? What is our y-intercept? It is 0, comma, 2, or we could just say 2. So our last and final step is plugging in these pieces, our m and our b that we just found. You can see where the m and the b were. I just put um, parentheses. And then I went back and took the 1 from our slope and plugged it in here and took the 2 from our y-intercept and plugged it in where the b was. Um, 1 times x is just x, so our ultimate, our ultimate um, equation is here. y equals x plus 2. That is the answer to what we were trying to do. If the question was, what is the equation of this graph? This is the equation for this graph. Um, now you can also go from an equation, if you're given an equation, you can draw it, which is what I'm going to do the next video.